there's a tremendous amount of history in print shops. Maybe the T in the word the has actually been also in the word about. It's been in the word tomboy, and yet it's still there and you're still able to contribute to the really embedded sense of communal history. The print shop has been a godsend for me. It inspired me and made me feel young too as well. When you print a thing with a technology that you don't see every day, there's a certain magic to the materiality and the texture and, and, and there's a realness. Anyone can come in, like anyone can work on a print project here. We're completely open to the public and I don't think print's dead. I think people are going to continue to make beautiful objects and offering people a space that they can come together as a group and print together I think is a really wonderful thing. The community print shop started as a scrappy bunch of, of printmakers who wanted to create a space in Providence unrelated to an institution where they could encourage each other and also share their printmaking knowledge with each other and with the broader community. My name is Brian Whitney. I am the industries coordinator here. I also spend a fair amount of time fixing things in the print shop when they break. Most of printmaking equipment is far too expensive for most people to afford. The sharing of expenses helps provide a large group of people access to tools that normally they wouldn't be able to afford. My name is Andrew Esch. I'm a By the Block member at the print shop. As someone who doesn't necessarily strongly identify as a printmaker, but uses print heavily in my practice, I don't have to sustain my own shop. I can come and still be a DIY maker, but not have my bathtub filled with uh, emulsion from silk screens. Coming to the shop, I realized how much I enjoy being around other people when I work. I do commercial printing, I do a lot of wedding invitations and business cards. I've been able to grow my business uh, working out of the print shop. My name is Colleen Else and I'm a key member and letterpress printer at the AS220 print shop. I would not be able to be where I'm at with my business today if it weren't for my ability to use the press at the print shop. We currently have slightly over 400 members. I would say of those 400, probably 100 are still actively printing, coming to the shop. My name is Lara Henderson, and I'm the AST20 Community Print Shop Manager. So the monitor members and the key members are the two groups of people in the space um, that help with the day-to-day -day operations. Most of our key members are instructors in the space as well. Uh, hi, my name is Lois Harada, and I'm a silkscreen instructor at the AST20 Community Print Shop. AS220 has been such a great part of helping me form uh, sort of my persona as an educator and also really helped me build up my philosophy of teaching and to have the opportunity to teach too, which is something as somebody that only has a BFA um, wouldn't normally get to do. I've always been an artist. Hi, my name is Jacques Bidon. I teach the offset classes and I also run a small commercial business. I think what AS220 did is sort of brought that stuff out of me that was dormant. Now I'm on the press at all times, always trying to make the press do things that people say it can't do. It really portrays what kind of person I am and the kind of work that I do. My name is James and I'm the manager of the AS220 Labs. Recently, the print shop and the labs have been utilizing each other's resources. There's a laser cutter. A lot of printmakers have been making use of that machine. And one of the more exciting machines that we have is called the ShopBot. From a print shop perspective, it allows you to create your own movable type and custom wood blocks for the letterpress. I have been a member of AS20 Youth for almost four years now, and basically that's where my life started. My name is Roberto Perez, and I'm a member of AS20 Youth. They helped me become a better artist and explore more of who I am and who I want to be in the future. Every time I bring my students in, and every time they meet someone, um, that person is extremely engaging and welcoming and willing to share their art and processes. My name is Gianna Rodriguez. I am the Visuals Coordinator at AS220 Youth. A lot of cities, like the size of Providence, could have a print shop like this. Inevitably, you can do much larger and greater things when you're not just a single person. One of the hardest things in the world is to create a community like this. 
and it has been created and it should stay like this as far as I'm concerned forever, forever.